friends, myself Dr. Atul Ingle. I am a director of nephrology at Fortis Group of Hospitals. Today I would like to discuss with you in brief about dialysis and transplant. Now the first question comes to mind. You might have heard dialysis transplant many times. What is it related to? Well, these both the terminologies indicates therapy or the treatment and they are related to the kidney. Let me begin with what is kidney. I am not going to go into the scientific details, but at least I will try to go up to the layman's terminology. Kidney, I would simply call it as an exhaust system of the human being or human body or silencer you can say because your body runs on air, water and food and there has to be the end products of the metabolism and the end product of the metabolisms are the toxins. To give a few examples like blood urea nitrogen, blood urea, creatinine, middle molecules and so on. But these are ultimately toxins to the body has to be excreted out and kidney is the organ which excretes them out. This is the first and foremost important function of the kidney. Second most important function of the kidney is the urine, water balance. See as you know when you drink lot of water you pass urine many times, when you drink less water you pass urine less. In summer days, urine is less, winter time, urine is more. Somehow, body's water balance is well maintained. So, kidney is a prime organ. The other important functions of the kidney are like production of the new blood. There is one hormone produced by kidney known as erythropoietin. This erythropoietin is must for the production of new blood. Then there is one more hormone known as renin. Now, what is the importance of this hormone renin? It maintains the blood pressure. Whenever because of any reason, whenever the volume of the blood or water is low in the body, brain should receive the blood supply. So this renin comes into the action, it raises the blood pressure. Now any kidney disease, this blood pressure goes out of control because of renin basically. So controlling blood pressure in any kidney disease is the most difficult task. And last and the most important function of the kidney, you know, is an acid base balance. Body is a chemical factory. There are n number of chemical reactions going on in the body at the cellular level. It requires one specific pH that is 7.4 and to maintain that specific pH of 7.4 that means balance of the acid articles and balance of the base is done primarily by kidney and secondarily by lungs but kidney is the most important organ. So in short when kidney malfunctions or fails that means it's a blockage of the exhaust system of the silencer. Take example of car. When you fill up the tank with the fuel, petrol, it moves the car, engine runs. But if you block the exhaust or silencer of the car, the engine is dead. And same holds true for the kidney. When your kidney malfunctions or fails, you can be dead at any time. Now, the question arises, is there a remedy for this? Yes, there are two remedies. One is dialysis. Dialysis is an artificial kidney, though it functions only 20% of the natural kidney, but it is kind of a survival. There are two types of dialysis which are done. One is known as hemodialysis, which is related to the blood, and the other one is known as peritoneal dialysis, which is related to the simple special type of fluid and performed through the tummy or abdomen. The basic difference between these two types of dialysis is that the hemodialysis uses artificial membrane. It is type of a curtain. One side is the blood and the other side is special fluid, which is what we call it as a dialysate. And the exchange takes between these two compartments through this semi-permeable membrane. So the bad things in the blood moves to the fluid side and the better good things from the fluid side moves to the blood. This same thing happens in the abdomen in peritoneal dialysis but in abdomen or peritoneal dialysis the membrane what we are using is a natural one that is known as peritoneum. The peritoneum membrane one side is a blood vessel other side is that special type of fluid and the exchange takes place. But the question arises when everything is artificial in kidney failure or end stage renal disease what is the duration of survival? Well no doctor is a god man. Whatever data is based on basically the past experience. In India, on an average survival for a 
diabetic type of patients landing up with the intestinal disease is not more than 4 to 5 years if person doesn't have diabetes then it is slightly extended to 10 to 12 years well this is a data average is taken out of multiple number of patients but bottom line is if you want to survive with the failed kidney the only option available is dialysis